So no doubt this is a very intense science and it is getting interesting with each new strategy and I'm curious to know more. Please tell me. Okay, curiosity itself is an invisible selling strategy. <laughs> Which I used. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, this is, uh, uh, there's a lot of work done by this by a lady called Bluma Zygarnik, uh, who was, or probably is a well-known psychologist. She, along with a bunch of people, went to a restaurant. Hmm. Everybody was absolutely impressed with the waiter because he seemed to remember everybody's order and every, everybody got the right dish delivered to him. Hmm. So they were absolutely floored by his memory. They finished the meal, came out of the restaurant and Bluma discovered that she had left something behind. So she was very clear what's going to happen. She's going to go, she's going to meet the waiter and in a flash, he's going to give that thing back to her. She goes back to the restaurant uh, and the waiter is not even able to recognize her. And she was absolutely baffled. She said, this guy is the superman of memory and he doesn't even remember my face. So what's going on? So what happened was that the waiter had an incentive to remember the face and the order of the person as long as he was serving them. Mm. The minute the entire loop was closed, uh, he dropped them from his memory. Okay. So this is a very efficiently done process. Uh, it, it exists with everybody, but it's not done that efficiently. But that, that got her to thinking and... Uh, By the way, did she get her back? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know the end of that story. Uh, but she, along with her uh, psychology guru, I, I don't remember his name right now, they did a lot of research on... Hmm. This and that's why it got to be known as a zygarnik effect. Okay. So if something is incomplete in your mind, then your mind keeps on diverting your attention towards that. Uh, and that's a concept that's uh, talked about by David Allen hmm. in GTD. David Allen is uh, the number one productivity guru in the world, but uh, we'll talk about GTD some other day. So if you keep something incomplete in your prospect's mind, then he is very eager to complete the story. If you give your prospect an incomplete story, if you give him incomplete information about your product and he's interested in your product, then he's going to be very hungry to know about the rest of the story. The smartest business people in the world, the smartest television and movie uh, people know this very, very well. So Ekta Kapoor is a master of this. If you look at most of her soaps, at the end of the soap, there will be something like a dead body lying on the ground. You're wondering whose body it is. There's lots of suspense music and somebody is going to remove the cover of that dead body's face and it's cut off. And now you're wondering who that dead person is and you're going to see the next episode. Yeah. At the end of that episode, somebody else is being killed or somebody else is being accused or some shadow is coming or somebody's shoes, is being, shoes are being shown and you have no clue who that person is and you want to complete that picture. That's why you will see the next episode. And before you know it, uh, uh, Ekta Kapoor is laughing. Yeah, so Ekta Kapoor is laughing all the way to a Swiss bank uh, by then. Uh, Suits uh, is a very, very popular uh, television show. Uh, in, in fact, the main star, Gabriel Matt, who plays the role of Harvey Specter, was introduced, was interviewed recently. And he said that India actually has 20 million viewers of Suits, which was a big surprise even to a Suits fan like me. Now, if you see most of the episodes of Suits, uh, it's in its seventh season right now. At the end, there's some problem that the character is in or the person is meeting somebody and he's actually shocked and you don't know who that person is meeting. Then there's always something that makes you eager to see the next episode. And if you're seeing it on Netflix or Prime, then it it virtually forces you to become binge watch. I mean, you just can't take your eyes. And in fact, in fact, you're hurrying to start the next episode before seeing the end credits of the previous episode. Uh, that's how powerfully this is being deployed. So the smartest guys in the world, they know all this. Apple understands this. Uh, and it, it, Apple is probably the most wow. famous success story. And whenever, whenever Steve Jobs used to have any new idea, he would be absolutely maddeningly secretive about it. Mm. Um, um, according to an article in Fortune magazine, 
new employees would be told that we take our secrecy very very carefully if you reveal any of our new product details we will get the best lawyers in the world and screw you they were told that in no uncertain terms uh, there were also very strong rumors that apple actually puts spies on its new employees and the spies uh, will follow you uh, whether you're going to a restaurant whether you're going to a seminar and try to understand whether you're leaking product information that's how uh, deeply steve jobs understood the process uh, about uh, the zygonic effect uh, if you look at his uh, iphone launch uh, he, he, really, he really he really never showed anybody the iphone and he teased the audience at the beginning by saying i have this phone right in my pocket and then he just showed it for a, probably a millisecond and put it back in his pocket again so he understood the zygonic effect very very well uh, and I, I don't think anybody has obsessed with it to such a great extent as Steve Jobs has. So I, I've, I've used it in my own way. Um, plenty of people think that, that a guy called Mehrabian has said that 55% uh, of communication is body language, 38% is tonality and 7% is words. And that's absolute rubbish. Uh, I put up a uh, uh, comment, uh, I put up a post of that on LinkedIn. And I said, this is all rubbish. If you want to know the truth, comment something and I will send you a message. I got more than 2,000 comments on that. Because it's such a common statement that we all know about communication. Yes, so I've, I've, I've hooked people's attention and I'm not giving the answer. I'm not telling you what the real answer is. If I would have, uh, nobody would have been interested. But, but because I did this, plenty of people wanted to complete the story and plenty of other people saw other people commenting so they also commented that's going back to social proof, something we discussed a while ago in this um, web series. Uh, so another tip I wanted to give you was you should use the word because as often as possible. It's a very, very powerful word. You will increase the more times you say because the more money you're going to make. Do you want to know why? Because? I'll tell you next time.